Hello, and welcome to the continuing adventures of an old noob. Last episode, we made this guardian farm. It's super productive. I'm going to do something that I should have done a while ago, but look at it. That chest is full. Loads of resources from this farm. It's immense. Here we are in the storage room, and it's just... It's just overwhelming how much resources we've got. I mean, it's even in these back ones. I don't know what I'm going to do with so much prismarine. And I certainly don't know what I'm going to do with this much cod. Actually, I do know what I'm going to do with all this cod. I did say in the last episode that I was thinking of putting some fishermen down here. But to be fair, I, d I don't think so anymore. I mean, the whole point of this is to have free-range villagers. So with so much prismarine, I think I should attempt to try and use it as a building block. To make a house. A fisherman. On the island. That way, I can come here, collect the resources I need, and then go over to the island and sell it to all the fishermen. No trapped fishermen. Free-roaming fishermen with the rest of them. I have been gathering some resources um, to build it. I mean, I've got the prismarine, I've got some cobblestone, I've got plenty of wood, thanks in part to that tree. But there's one more thing I need, and I can't get it from here. I'm going to have to either find a jungle or a swamp. As soon as I do, I'll show you what I need. And there she blows. It looks like a swamp. Perfect. Not too far away, actually. Just in time as well, by the looks of it. Yes. What I need is vines. You can get plenty of them in a swamp. So, I'm just going to collect a load of these and then head back to the island. Now, the thing about vines, especially when they grow this long is you've got to take them from the bottom one at a time to get all three if you just do the top one you only get the top one and the rest just break um, i'm going to collect a stack of these and head back to the island here we are back on the island and i've got a stack of vines but this isn't going to be enough and I might want some more in the future. So, I'm going to make a farm. Farming vines is boring and tedious. And most farms look a little bit like this. Simple archway. Vine, 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 vine. Vine, 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 vine. And now with the vines on it, you wait until they grow. And once they have grown, use a pair of shears just to take them off up to this point and then wait until they grow again. Now you can do this on mass. You can just have a massive archway and maybe even a minecart that you sit in to take you up and down as you shear them away. But to be fair, where am I going to put something like this? I like to try and make my farms look a bit decorative you know try and fit them in with their surroundings which is eventually what i'm going to do with that that may take some time though but this i don't know i suppose i could have rows of them and build a i don't know i've decided i don't need an elaborate farm i'm not going to need vines that often um and you saw what it was like in the marsh, where they're just hanging from the trees. So I'm thinking maybe we do it a bit more organic. You know, organic vine harvesting. Organic vine farming. I don't know, something to please the vegans out there anyway. Now you may remember, a while ago, whilst trying to find melon seeds, I came across 
acacia saplings. And I thought, what's missing from the beach hut? A palm tree, of course. Yes, except uh, I'm not too good building trees. When acacia, they, they, they sometimes bend. So you never know, might look good. First off, we're going to need dirt. Oh, look, there's plenty. Now, acacia saplings are a bit weird. Unlike oak and the mighty spruce, it can't really grow next to anything. It needs to be in the center of a 5x5. Five five. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, five by five. Now we just find the center. One, two, three, one, two, three. And put our dirt there. And we put our acacia sapling there. Bit of bow mill to help nature take its course. And it's. I can really see why people build their own. It's going the wrong way. I wanted you to go that way. Oh well, nothing for it. Okay, acacia sapling, take two. Ooh, that's interesting. Still not bending the way I want it to, but it's certainly interesting. Take three. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, look at that. I like that one. That's a keeper. Okay, now for the vines. If I put them there on the edge of each leaf, they will slowly work their way down. We've got ourselves a bit of a farm. Right, let's leave that for a few minutes and see what happens. And in no time at all, the vines all grown. Thanks to editing, because that actually took ages. But the point is, that looks better than that. And yes, it did take ages, but that's because I was waiting for it. I desperately need these vines. If I harvest them and take them up to that level of the leaves and just leave those there, they'll just grow in the background. So next time I need some, they'll just be there. So now I've got some vines. What I need is some stone and some cobblestone. I am going to be building a house about here. Well, a shop. Yes, I said a shop, but it's a pretend shop. I've got nobody to sell anything to. So the villagers are going to do the selling to me. Oh, it's going to be. Oh my god, synchronized squids. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit weird. Yeah, because this building is going to be next to the water. Um, that and that uh, looks a bit too clean. If we combine the stone with vines, we get mossy bricks. And the same for cobblestone as well. And now you can't tell me that they don't look like they've been near water. So with a mixture, this, we can look like the water's been splashing up against it and 
moss has grown or algae has attached itself barnacles even maybe it's all part of the attempt to try and make my build not just look a bit more realistic but look a little bit better so now we've got the vines and we've got the resources let's build this puppy and see what it ends up looking like Right, that's the shop built. Or should that be trading post, as I'll be trading them fish for emeralds? Yeah, it's a fishing trading post. That's what we'll call it. So here I am in the storage room, and uh, I'm going to fill up these four shulker boxes with as much fish as I can get. And then I'm going to take it to the trading post and trade for emeralds. Well, that's one, two, three, four shulker box is full of cod and I've still got that one that one 
nearly that one. That one. And nearly that one. Full of raw cod. This is more raw cod than I will ever need. It's ridiculous. Anyway, let's get these to our newly appointed fishermen. I think it's a really nice addition to the island, this uh, trading post. I've given it its own little pontoon right on the edge of the island, almost built into it, kind of like that. I've put fencing all around it because, well, I don't know how safe it's going to be from the drowned at the minute. I might look into lighting up all around the island just to keep the drowned at bay. I, I, I don't know. But the fishermen do seem quite happy in here. Here's two of them. There's another two in here as well. Yeah, I've decorated all in here. I've given them a shop front. Um, they tend to like standing on the shop desk, but hey-ho. I put a boat hanging from the ceiling. I put little floaty buoys here and there. And I've even, just up here, a little telescope. Just looking out into the sea. Nothing to see at the minute. But you know, might look cool. One of the things I like about fishermen is they have their own storage. The villagers become a fisherman if they see a barrel. And the barrel's a perfect way to store stuff. Right, let's get to filling this up. Well, that's nearly five barrels full of raw cod. These fishermen have already gone to see uh, Karen, the careers consultant. There's an all uh, incredibly low price. So just for four cod, this chap's going to give me an emerald. So let's start trading. And in a matter of seconds, I've made 48 emeralds. This is an emerald gold mine. Yes, I'm glad you agree. Oh, they've reset their trades. Yeah. A stack and a quarter. A stack and a half. Just instantly. And I'm levelling them up. And I'm levelling me up as well. So it's all good. And just by getting a fishing rod off of each of them, they are all now master level. And for some reason, a boat will give me an emerald. So if I made some kind of automatic wood farm and made boats out of everything, I get an emerald per boat. Not bad. But I've got so much cod to sell to these guys now. I'm just going to be swimming in emeralds. And I'm still got loads to sell. Ridiculous. And there we go. After a day's trading with them, going for both their refreshments, I've got nearly three stacks of emeralds. And still, a load of fish left. And one of the cool things about these fishermen is I can actually get campfires from them. So that saves me crafting them, and it cost me one emerald. I mean, look how many I've got. It's ridiculous. All in all, I'd say I was very happy with how this trading post has turned out. I have given them some beds underneath, but uh, they don't seem to be making their way to it. So I might convert this to a stock room, which was its intended purpose. Loads of barrels filled with fish. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I think it looks a bit rustic. A nice use of prismarine walls and prismarine bricks. I've put the trapdoors as shutters, making some of them closed, some of them half open, some of them completely closed, just to give it a bit of extra depth. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I think it's turned out okay. I think it's a great addition to the island. Somewhere for the fishermen to hang out. All part of making it seem like a real island. Giving the villagers tasks and jobs and place to live and go. Yeah, I like it. I think it, I think it looks good. And do you see what I mean about the mossy cobblestone? And the mossy brick? 
I think it really adds to it, adds to the character. You know, they've got wet, regularly, dry out. Let me know in the comments what you think. You know, did it do a good job? Does it look okay? Have you got any suggestions on how I could make it better? It'd be good to hear from you guys. And from the top of the new fisherman trading post on the island, I'd like to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Consider giving it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. Anyway, until next time, bye.